All right. So now we're going to uh, look at a system of factoring that some of my students have called the atomic method. Um, it's a system that I developed, but it's no better or no worse than a lot of other systems. As you've seen, there are many ways to actually factor something. My technique simply takes the um, factors of the leading coefficient, which in this case are 2 and 1, and the factors of the constant, which in this case are 1 and 8, 2 and 4, and that's pretty much it. Okay. So now what I do is I take my leading coefficient factors, 2 and 1, and I try to multiply them with the factors of the constant and try to find one that adds up to 10. Now I can tell right now what the answer is, so I'm going to pretend I don't know, and I'm going to try 2 and 4 first. So let's say I did 2 and 4. Now what I do is I multiply 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 times 4 is 4 and then I add them and I get 8. Well as you can see this is not 10. Therefore I might do the reciprocal and do 2 times 4 and 1 times 2, right? 2 times 4 is 8 and 1 times 2 is 2. Now 2 plus 8 is in fact 10. So now here's where the atomic method comes in. I do like this. Now my leading coefficient factors are here so I have 2x plus 2 and x plus 4. Now you can see that it can still be factored further because my 2x plus 2 can be factored into 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 4. And that is the atomic method, and it's called the atomic method because a lot of my students look at this and they think of it as being an atom. Um, it is just another technique for factoring. It happens to be mine, but like I said, as you've seen, there are a lot of other techniques for factoring, and this is just one.